Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and today I'm wearing a fleece, which I'm aware makes me look as though I work at multiple supermarket chains throughout the UK. I've also had a haircut, I don't know whether you noticed, but just in case you failed to recall the fact that up until Tuesday I had a haircut reminiscent of Dougal from the Magic Roundabout, then yeah, it's gone. Hacked away. It was actually done quite professionally, really. It, um, it recommended barbers in Poynton. There we go, that's all I need to say about that. Um, I could mention their name, but I'm not kind. What shall we talk about today? Shall we talk about the fact that I finished the Museum of Innocence and... I don't know anymore whether it is still on my favourites of the year list because the first 650 pages were great, yet I feel like the ending was too much overdone and the writer was trying to wrap things up too much and couldn't get out of the story. Or do we talk about the fact that I finally started reading The Rebel by Albert Camus ten and a half years after I was gifted that book? Do we talk about the fact that I'm finally reading Eureka by Anthony Quinn, which I have had for quite a while now, and it's just taken me... It's been on a lot of TBRs, and I'm only just now getting round to it. What do we talk about? Well, technically, I've talked about them, so there you go. There's There are my current thoughts. I haven't done any writing this week. Tuesday, I had planned to do the same as ha what I'd done on Sunday, which was read an hour, write an hour, read an hour, write an hour. But Monday evening came around, and my sister kept going on about my hair, and it's something that I've been thinking about myself. So I spent the evening looking for places to, that I could actually go and get my hair cut. So that took my Tuesday away from me because I came to Point and I came to work. I went to the hairdressers. I came back. And that was 11, but then I stayed and I did two hours work. Didn't get home until 2. Um, you know, had my first meal of the day. Fantastic. Then I was cook Then I cooked a roast dinner. Then I went out again to my grandmother's this time. Wednesday I was working, back to my grandmother's for tea. Thursday, my father needed to go to the doctor's because my mother had accidentally poisoned him. She gave gluten to a celiac, thinking she was being kind by giving him toffees, not reading the allergy advice. What can you do about it? My mother's been trying to poison my father for 27 years. It's a marriage, perfect, perfect marriage. It's a perfect marriage. Anyway, let's forget all that. Um, so yeah, took him to the doctors, went into head office, went to the library for the writers group. Fantastic session. Finally got to realise what dark minds my fellow writers have. <sighs> went home, watched some YouTube, didn't comment on any videos. Well, I didn't get around to watching YouTube till after I'd watched a bit of the snooker. And honestly, I was just a bit knackered last night. Um, and now we're here. And it's Friday. Morning, Mr. Magpie. It's Friday. <sighs> Some people say, thank God it's Friday. I mean, I don't tend to thank God for anything myself. Um, not being of the religious ilk. Um, but also, my week starts on a Friday. This is the day that I start working. You're all finishing work. I come in Friday, Saturday, Monday. And I have to look at it like that because... Me breaks in the middle, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You might be thinking, Charlie, you go on about not having any money all the time. Why don't you just find another job? That's a good question. And by another job, I mean a job alongside this one. And basically, originally, to just tell you a tale, I can't remember whether I've told before. When I first started out at Age UK, it was my first job after uni. I'd already been a volunteer for five years. And... So, and you know, I was leaving uni, needed a job, I have rent to pay, I, you know, there was no way that I could actually leave uni and not go straight into work. 
And this job came up. But I also had a novel out on submission at the time. And I was getting... Um, whatever not form rejections. I wasn't getting form rejections. And then someone had actually asked for the full manuscript. And I wanted to keep days clear so that I could write. And so I continued to write in my days off. But also, when I first started, I did a lot more overtime than I do now. So any days off I had were for writing. Obviously, I did bring, you know, I wrote a children's book. I brought out R. Doris. I brought out Indisputably Doris. It's not like I haven't, cons you know, I haven't stuck to the thing of trying to write books in that time and promoting books and selling books. That's been my second job all this time. And it's just that this last year, there hasn't been much, in the, by the way, of actually doing any of the selling. Well, that's a lie. I haven't been out there selling my books myself. I haven't been going to the markets and promoting the book as much outside because, thankfully, gratefully, people on Booktube found my book, supported it a bit, and so a few more people have ended up buying my book that way. So whilst I've had a few sales, I haven't had to go out and do that myself. Grand. Um, I wrote another book in that time. I wrote a poetry... I haven't written a poetry collection. I wrote a lot of poems towards a poetry collection. And I am currently working on the children's book that I plan to send out to, you know, on traditional submission. But, there you go. That's why I only work these three days a week. But my week starts today, on a Friday. You can tell that I'm not necessarily bright-eyed and bushy-tailed because technically... I've already been here two days this week. It, it makes no sense. It makes no sense to anybody else but me. What can you do? <sighs> I'm aware I might be in trouble today as well. for something that I did on Wednesday. So, you know. The next time you see me, I may be a flagrant alcoholic. I don't know. I have tried it before, but... There's just something about the sensation of being drunk that I don't necessarily like. So for the first time ever, I got drunk at the age of 20 at my cousin's wedding. Um, I'm most apologetic that I don't actually remember most of that wedding, but my the people on the table I was at didn't like the wine, so I necked 11 glasses of wine after I just drank three Jack Daniels with Coke, and for someone who never drinks before, that was quite a lot. So, yeah, I don't remember the day, and then the only few times I've been drunk since then, I don't like it, so as soon as I feel the slightest bit drunk, I start drinking water, and I drink, I drink quite a lot of water afterwards, so I don't remain inebriated for long. Um, it's probably a good thing, because it seems that when I become inebriated, I talk a lot now, but apparently I've noticed I talk a lot more, and also I get too jolly, and I make some very poor life choices. I think that's the same for anyone. Um, except mine came about... Whew, when we first started the writers group and we were invited to this literary quiz and silent auction. And I happened to be there with members of the members of the writers group. Um, I was meeting writers... Um, that, would, that were writing in the same genre as I was writing at the time, making connections, and I bid money that wasn't mine at a silent auction. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best thing I've ever done, but it was all right in the end. Oh. So what more can I say? Today I've got work, today I'm open. I'll actually go home and do some writing, maybe some reading, but I don't know how that's going to turn out. And it'll be the same for tomorrow night, and it'll be the same for Sunday, because my days are just full of reading and writing. Sometimes the arithmetic, because I have to figure out, if I read this many pages today, I only have to read this many pages tomorrow. If I write this many pages today, then I'll be at this point. That sort of thing. You know what it's like. Who's doing NaNoWriMo? I'm not, because it just doesn't fit in with my life at the moment um but 
I've seen that a few other booktubers are, and if, you know, I can be here cheering you on. So, who's doing NaNoWriMo? How do you feel about it? Do you like the idea of writing a novel in a month? Because it can be done. It can be done. I've done it in the past. Sometimes I've done it outside of NaNoWriMo. I once wrote a novel in a day. I've written a novel in a week. You know, sometimes you just get a bit manic and you just think, do you know what, let's get this done and you just start writing. And you can write reams and reams and reams of terribleness. Utter fright. But well, there you go. Anyway. I am going to disappear, go inside that shop, make myself a drink. <sighs> What are you reading at the moment? Are you writing anything at the moment? How's your week been? Feel free to let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, that is all.